dear students in a previous session we saw a interrelationship between the effectiveness and efficiency along with the term process now it's time to sum up these three process and particularly the relationship between the effectiveness and efficiency let us consider a small example many times companies will be concentrating on effectiveness and ignores efficiency that is completes the given task but at a high cost for example suppose a company targets production of 1000 units in a month to achieve this target the manager has to operate on double shifts because at that point of time there was a power failure most of the times the manager was able to produce 1000 units but at a higher production cost in this case if you look at it the task has got complete which means they have completed the task but not on the specified cost they have exceeded the cost what was assigned so here if you look at it the manager in this case is effective because we say effectiveness is nothing but doing the right task but he is not efficient he was not able to bring the particular production cost under his control okay or he was not able to meet in the minimum cost what was assigned by the management so this is one example whereby the company have focused on one aspect and leaving out the other aspect thereby they might not be able to achieve the end result that is profit because if you are efficient and effective only then the goal can be attained having one the efficiency but not effectiveness or having effectiveness without efficiency then the goal can't be attained because efficiency involves cost if you are exceeding the cost obviously the profit will get curtail to the extent how much cost you have exceeded by so please remember efficiency is most important and it is one of the most important aspect which should be among each and every employee of an organization every employee in an organization must be efficient also effective only then the organization can attain its goal and at the same time in the case the manager is effective but it was not efficient since the same output more inputs in terms of labor electricity cost has been used on the other hand suppose let's consider the other example on the other hand sometime a manager is able to cut down the cost but cannot achieve the target production consequently the goods do not reach the market and hence the demand for them declines and competitors enters the market now what will be the impact if suppose the manager is efficient but he is not effective if suppose the manager is not exceeding the cost he is trying to produce within that cost but what happens is due to this cut down or due to this power shutdown okay he is not uh, going to cut down the cost but he is unable to meet the production that is the quantities can't be produced if you can't produce the quantities what you have 
taken up the orders obviously the people who have ordered the goods to you will switch over to the next competitors as a result you have to lose your customers and the product demand will start declining thus the company will again have to forego the expected profit so now can you able to understand the difference or the interdependence between the effectiveness and efficiency if you are going to exceed the cost and try to achieve the production what you have promised obviously cost will eat up the profit so that company can attain the goal on the other hand if you are going to focus on the cost whereby you are going to lose out the production then obviously you are going to lose the demand for your product and customers will switch over to your competitor and thereby you will lose the hold in your market that to conclude we can say that for the long run survival and growth of business its management must try to achieve goals effectiveness at a minimum cost so to conclude management should consider both the aspects that is effectiveness and efficiency if these both the aspects are met obviously they can able to maintain the balance between efficiency effectiveness and efficiency so effectiveness in terms of goal and efficiency in terms of cost so this is in terms of goals and this is in terms of cost so i hope by now you would have understood what is that interdependency or interrelationship that exists between effectiveness and efficiency by this one aspect in our first chapter that is concept of management has come to an end thank you students please post your doubts if you have any for after looking at this video to my personal whatsapp thank you